So Head's boom line is all new for 2022, and today we're taking a look at the top dog, the Boom Pro. So Head adds yet another silo to their already massive product lineup. So the boom line feels like it's going to be a replacement for the Instinct. I'm pretty happy to see the Instinct go as I feel like that line has been trash for years now. I don't really feel like it needed to be replaced by the boom series, but oh well, more rackets, more competition in the marketplace. That should always be good for the consumer. So the question for me is where does this boom line sit? in Head's own lineup and does it really have a place in today's market? So to understand this, let's jump right into our scores. I wanna talk potential energy. So the potential energy on the Boom Pro was quite good as to be expected. It's the heaviest in the line and it's in a line of power oriented rackets. The swing weight strung is 325, which is pretty decent in terms of rackets in this weight class. I think this is a pretty good market position for head with this racket. You don't want to go too much higher because you want this power oriented boom thing to be pretty accessible for more players. And I don't think 325 is out of the realm of feasibility for most people on the court. The next thing is the stiffness is coming in at 66 strong. It's kind of like a medium high stiffness, which is pretty good for energy return. And I did notice that it's also really nice for spin. You definitely don't feel any discomfort. Off center shots weren't jarring and the conduct feel is surprisingly plush you can really feel a lot of energy is not lost in the frame and it's not flexing around too much but that energy goes back into the ball really quite easy to penetrate the court with the boom pro it's also easy to lay on a ton of top spin. The next thing is the beam width is actually decently thin at 22 and a half millimeters. For a power marketing racket, that's pretty thin. I didn't feel like the beam design was particularly geared towards power. That said, the head is really wide, especially for a 98 square inch racket. To me, that always contributes to a really rich sweet spot. It's something I notice in the gravity and a lot of the rackets from Prince as well. So our scores here, the Boom Pro's potential energy is going to be 123. Pretty good spin and pretty good ball speed out of this one. Compared to some similar frames, we've got the Pure Aero VS at 117, the Vcore 98 at 120, and the Radical Pro at 125. So in terms of power and spin potential, I think it is serving a good purpose in Head's lineup. It's a little bit firmer feeling, more modern feeling than some of their other rackets at that swing weight, like the Radical Pro, like we mentioned. I think it does line up really nicely with the rackets like the Pure Aero VS and the Vcore 98. So moving on into the string bed performance. So the string bed performance was where the Boom Pro frankly just upset me. There were times where I felt like it was really control oriented and there were times where I just had no idea what was going on. So I felt like the top third to quarter of the string bed, so towards that 12 o'clock on the hoop, is much firmer feeling than the rest of the string bed. That's actually the response I preferred. I felt like the launch angle was super predictable and quite low when I was hitting in the top of the frame. That said, the actual sweet spot kind of right dead center in the string bed has a crazy amount of power. It's a really rich and sweet sweet spot. Ball pocketing is excellent, but it has a tendency to shoot the balls really long. So if you're someone who doesn't always have a super consistent contact point, you may struggle with this. It's something I really struggled with. I could line up a couple forehands hitting it towards the top of the frame where I usually make contact on my forehand and I was feeling great, completely in control of the point. But if my footwork wasn't perfect or I didn't make the adjustment steps that I needed to and I caught it lower in the string bed, the ball would just cannon way beyond the baseline. And it was something that I really had a hard time adjusting to and to me it's just lack of consistency in the string bed that 
I just don't appreciate in any racket. So on my two-handed backhand where my contact point is a little bit more consistent, I actually really liked it and felt like I could do a lot. It's just the drop off in power and the much lower launch angle towards the extremities of the frame is really frustrating to deal with. So I had a hard time scoring this one, but I went with 116 because I feel like that lower down part of the sweet spot is where you're intended to hit the frame. It feels much more boomy down there, whereas a towards the tip it feels much firmer and not quite as power oriented. So 116 for the Boom Pro. A significantly more controlled string bed is going to be the Head Radical Pro at 96. Then we've got the Pure Arrow VS at 106. And then finally the Yonex VCore 98 at 110. And that brings us to weight distribution. So the weight distribution on this frame was actually really nice. It was really whippy despite feeling super solid. I felt like the plow through was quite exceptional considering the pretty solid maneuverability on this frame. Using my forehand, I was able to deliver exceptional topspin with the Boom Pro thanks to very good maneuverability, but also that decent swing weight. The Boom Pro feels super stable. I could honestly play it stock. It feels very comfortable just blocking and redirecting balls. There's lots of great stability there. And off center towards three and nine, I didn't notice that there was a huge lack of stability there either. That is of course something you're gonna get with a lot of these 310 gram rackets, but to me, the Boom Pro feels way more confident and inspiring than something like the Ezo 98 at only three grams lighter. It doesn't quite feel as purposeful as the pre as the all white Speed Pro, but if you're into like previous versions, like the first Graphene Speed Pro, I think this Boom Pro is gonna feel quite predictable and familiar to you. So the Boom Pro comes in at 122. Not super fast, but not super slow. It's a nice sweet spot, and it's where I really like to see a rack at 310 grams. A little bit faster through the air, as expected, is gonna be that Pure Aero VS at 118. Then we've got the V-Core 98 at 120. And then heavier feeling is gonna be the Radical Pro at 125. So my final thoughts on the Boom Pro is that it's a really great racket considering it's the first generation of the mold. I really can't recommend it to most players. I think you're gonna have a much better luck with something like the V-Core 98. The feel is relatively similar. You get a little bit more connectedness out of the Boom Pro. But the way the string bed is for me is just really really frustrating let me know in the comments if you've tried the boom and noticed the same thing maybe i just got a bad batch or something so with that said i think the boom pro is a really good starting place for a power line from head i'd love to see how the line evolves as i know head's been doing some very solid work in their engineering department lately